much fun today having everybody in our space and bringing everybody together, not only to share ideas, but to come up with solutions and actionable steps that we can take over the next 12 months uh, to move the needle towards that decarbonization goal. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and that aligns nicely with the work that AEG does to decarbonize Chicago. You know, Chicago does have uh, the perception of uh, just ridiculous crime, there's just crime everywhere. But the perception is the reality, how do we make our transit system safer so we get more folks on it. We have one of the highest uh, priced transit systems in the world, still $107 per month. The poorest in our city and the, and the most affluent in our city, they're still choosing to drive, but they're still choosing options that's not public transit. So if you look at cities like New York, where you have some of the best public transit, very few people own cars. If you look at a city like Chicago, almost 50% of people are driving themselves to work every day in a private car. The answer is if you have better public transit, people will use it. Um, the, the issue now is that it becomes extremely cost prohibitive to invest in infrastructure. But we think the future is on-demand shuttles. We have 1,862 vehicles in our fleet, in our bus fleet. So how are we going to electrify the entire rest of the fleet? Well, a goal has been set out to achieve this by 2040. This target still stands for us and we are working toward it. For mobility and transportation to enable a carbon-free Chicago, we must first address a strategy for optimized charging to protect low-income, vulnerable consumers uh, and communities. That doesn't mean that you can't do other things, but this is a really important thing to make sure that from the get-go, the system design is, is there, the policies are there, so that we ultimately are maximizing overall benefits. We have a, an ordinance um, pending in the City Council um, that would apply to new construction projects that are submitted to the City after June 30th of 2020. And that ordinance would require real estate developers, uh, a building with more than five units, to provide a charging station circuitry for at least 20% of the parking stalls in that garage base. Um, if, we had, if we adopt this, uh, that would make Chicago a national leader uh, in electric vehicle infrastructure policy.